okay welcome back to my channel guys my name is tiffany and i'm your favorite daycare owner in the caribbean okay okay i have a few disclaimers for today's video my hair is wet number one i have a hair appointment tomorrow and i had to wash my hair tonight in order for me to be ready for the hair appointment tomorrow number two i'm extremely tired i have a long list of things to prepare um, before i travel on tuesday so i just just have to keep going and try to make sure I take off everything off of the list so that when I'm gone I have no stress no worries and I can just focus on what I need to be doing while I'm overseas so in today's video I am going to show you guys what we will be doing for week one and two which is this week and next week well what they will be doing for week one and two while I'm away I had to print out so much papers oh my god there's a lot of um, sheets and the reason why I had to do that this time is because I ran out of laminating sheets and we are on a budget and we are low on finances so I had to sacrifice that and just print out the sheets rather than printing one and having it laminated and then have the or oh, one or two and have the teachers just do the activity over and over and over with the children as they go along like using a marker but we can't do that so each child will have their own sheet this time around um the curriculum that i'm using is from teachers pay teachers from a daycare owner um in the u.s that's called tots to the top so credit to her so that is what we're doing the theme for this these two weeks is beach I went to the beach and I got some sand. So we're gonna have some beach themed sensory bins. So the children's gonna play with the sand. They're gonna have their buckets and they are going to have a blast. But I feel like that should be on Friday because I feel like if the children put sand in their hair, they should just go home and don't come back until Monday. I'll figure that out. Um, I have some supplies that I may not have that is required for the curriculum. So we probably will have to um improv and come up with our own stuff to fit the activity as best as, I, as we can the children won't know if we're doing them right or wrong anyway so we're just gonna have to use what we have and get the activities done as i mentioned before this is summertime so we have summer care so i'm just trying to make sure that the summer care children have activities to do to keep them occupied um and learning something at least while they are here you know what I mean you know what I mean so yeah so these are the guys so much paper I print out look at this this is one week this is one week old one week and this is our next week all of this may the Lord be with us okay man so I'm just gonna go through them and then put each day in order and then um, have them ready so as the days go by the teachers have the activities that they need and they are able to do what they need to do and it's easy <coughs> sorry my bad so week one we have the letters that we're focusing on is a to z well a and z the number is six um the shape is a diamond the color is pink uh week two is the same circle time stuff we learn in a to z six diamond pink um so during the week we're going to be doing gluing letters um using pieces of paper we're going to be making a fish puppet craft <laughs> we're going to be doing a goldfish um what do you call that a goldfish activity where you have to glue the goldfish to the bucket we have a palm tree craft where they have to take the two hands and like paint the tree then we have, oh yeah, that's the same thing, palm tree. This is all in week one, right? Yeah, week one. 
Then they will be making a, <laughs> a sandals craft. So they have to paint their foot and then the teacher's gonna cut it out and make a sandal using their, their cute little feet. Then they're going to do a flamingo painting with their hand. We don't have any googly eyes as requested inside of the supplies. So we we'll just have to use a marker and draw the eyes in. Week two, the activities is they're gonna be doing, well, this is just the craft activities I'm telling you about. They're gonna be making a crab with their hand painting. They're going to, oh, the flip flops. That was week two, sorry. They're going to be doing a volleyball activity where we have to put two chairs back to back and take a nylon, not nylon, Jesus. The soft strings that you used to crochet and tie it across each side of the chair. Um, I would think that both teachers should sit on a chair just in case the children try to pull the chair down and then it fall on somebody. So yes, tie the string across the back of each chair and then they have to like try and hit the balloon ball over the um, string to play volleyball. And then, hmm. Okay, so that w that's all of the crafts that the teacher included in the activity. And I print back to front on this, and I print back to front on this because I'm trying to save paper. Whew. Okay, so let me go and organize these activities. I'm just gonna do a montage and fast forward it so that you guys don't be forever here with me. You know what I mean? So let's go. Okay guys, I finished the activities for the 14 days that I'll be gone. Every single day has an activity. So this is my lesson plan. So we have week one and then back says week two. And then I wrote some instructions on there for my staff. Then this is the weekly explanation for every day all of the activities that the children are going to be doing so they don't have to call or text they have all of the information here everything listed all of the materials and you know ready to go and so every single day is labeled so we got from July 9th and I just put sticky notes on every day so that they know what day and what activity is for what so this is what it looks like guys and listen I am so excited I'm sorry if I'm not getting the angles right but I'm so excited that I was able to do this I did find the googly eyes for the flamingo um, I you know I didn't have pink paper I only have red and that's what we use um, we have traces activities we have identifying big and small. We have balloon, volleyball activities and counting and so on. We have more tracing, but you know, each day have multiple activities in um, the pouches. That will be for the summer care and some of the daycare children who are able to do these activities. So yes, guys. This is 14 days of activities for my day gear. I did it. So this is the end of the video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.